All right, there's three ways that IT networks d are different from OT networks. And I think a lot of people kind of gloss this over and say, oh, they're both Ethernet. So today I'm going to go through the three, three main, well, some of the ways, the three main ones, I think, that the ways that, it, they, that they differ. I'm John Rinaldi. I work for Real-Time Automation. We move data around the factory floor. If you've got a problem moving data, we're the guys to call. So let's get into this. So what's the first thing? The first thing is what is the purpose of the network? Okay, so if we're talking about, so number one is what, 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 are they, what problem, what purpose does the network have? If you're an IT network, the, one of the things what IT is trying to accomplish is to, essentially is to provide a utility. They're like, they're, they look at providing Ethernet service to their customers, just like the people that supply the water, supply electricity, supply the HVAC throughout the building. I mean, it's no more thing because they just want to make sure, hey, there's a service on, or people can use it. So it's, it's kind of looks like it, it's an, 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 they look at it like it's an IT, uh, like it's a utility. OT, this is actually, they're part of production. They're part of the production process. There is no way you can take a machine that's, okay, I was just, I was at Lipton Tea and I saw them making tea, making tea bags. There's no way you can separate the control part, the controls and the network that runs the controls from the actual production of the tea bags. You can't do one without the other. So this is really, so OT networks are really integral to the production process. So they have to, so, so OT people look at themselves as part of production. IT people don't look at themselves as part of accounting or part of engineering or part of manufacturing. They're just a service that provide, they provide to everybody. So there's a whole different mindset. Maybe that's a better, better word than purpose. There's a whole different mindset about what we're doing when we're, when we're providing this service. So IT and OT, definitely different, okay? All right. Let's take a look at another thing. What's another thing? Well, um, what about how they operate, okay? So two would be the, how they operate. Um, OT needs to have almost real time. Not quite real time. It doesn't need exactly real time, but it needs to be pretty close. If you've got a cyclic message, that cyclic message has to get through within the prescribed time, within the allowable jitter for the control application. It cannot be delayed. Whereas in the IT world, yeah, you know, it's, it's whenever we get there, right? If, if the printer's down, well, that's all right. If the database is locked up right now and it's going to take four or five seconds but, you know, for it to finish doing its re-indexing or whatever the heck is going on, then that, that's okay. So the IT, you know, for when you're operating an IT network, you really don't care about, you know, that kind of service. With the OT world, that really, really matters a lot to us. Another thing is, you know, in the, you know, VLANs, we use VLANs differently. The, o, the IT people use VLANs to monitor all of their switches. So they put all of their switches on a VLAN. In, the, in OT, we, we use a VLANs totally differently. We use VLANs to segment some, some equipment for specific reasons. And uh, I'm not going to get into the details of that, but we use VLANs totally different than that. In, in OT, we also use rings. Rings are completely anathema to IT. You don't, you ne they, they go to all kinds of trouble to make sure that they never have a ring. But in OT, there's lots of times where rings make sense for us, especially you know, in different kinds of processes where we, we need to make sure that the network stays up, even if it gets, uh, if there's some kind of operational problem. So that's the second thing is not only mindset, not only how they operate, but the three is, the third thing I would, I would point to is how, is how we do addressing. So addressing is different. In the IT world, everything's got to have a unique and different address. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the OT world, lots of times, we're going to address machines identically. So if we've got a, a PLC and then a, and a bunch of devices that are connected to it on a switch, you know, we're going to address these things the same. So we're going to address this, and then we have another PLC that functions the same way, that has the same kind of devices in a different part of the plant, but produces the same function. This guy's going to have the same address. 
this guy, device X, is going to have the same address as device X over here. If this is a drive, it'll have the same address over here. The advantage, and I talked about this in another video just the other day, was that you can now, if you change, if you change this PLC program, you find a bug in it, you tune it up, you add something to it, you just copy it right over here and put it in that PLC program. Because all the, we're using these private reserved address, company reserved addresses, we can just copy PLC programs from one place to another. That's, that's the reason that we don't want all of these devices on the IT network because they can't handle this, the idea of the same addresses being in, in, uh, in one place and being in another place, having duplicate addresses. It just kind of blows their mind that, you do, that we do that. So OT is really different than IT. The way you do the, the way you set the networks up, the way you design them, the way they're architected, they're completely, completely different. This whole idea of IT, OT convergence, and I've said this before, I should have my heart out on because a lot of things are gonna fall, hit me over the head on this. It's IT, OT convergence is silly and dangerous. It just doesn't make sense to put all these devices on the same network. And I've got another video that goes into that in more detail, but there's a big difference between these kind of networks. And uh, I hope that today that I've illustrated exactly why. So now if you need, you know, what we're, you know, I'm from real-time automation. What we do is move data around the factory floor. If you have a problem where you need to get some data out of a machine and get it to some application, we can help you with that. Give us a call. There's some links below. Thanks very much. Have a great day. I'll see you in my next video.